All right, good morning. I am in Klamath Falls, Oregon. I took a shower at a truck stop and then I just spent the night here at the Walmart parking lot at Klamath Falls. I'm gonna head south from here and oh my gosh, this sun feels so good. It's been so cold. I'm really looking forward to things warming up just a little bit, just like 10 degrees, please. So I'm not one to like complain too much about that, but yeah. Um, all right, so let's get on the road and head south. I am at Indian Well Campground in Lava Beds National Monument. Yeah, this is an amazing place. It's really cool. This particular campground is a little bit small. I believe it's the only campground here. And uh, yeah, if you have anything bigger than about 17 feet, uh, you kind of got to find the right spot because most of the spots, the parking spot is only big enough for a car. So. Uh, but yeah, all right. Um, I got a couple nights here, a couple in a couple days. So let's go see something. Let's go do something. All right. So obviously, Lava Beds National Monument is a huge volcanic area. It's actually from. The Medicine Lake Volcano, which is a huge uh, shield volcano that erupted 30 to 40,000 years ago. And when it erupted, it covered this entire area in lava flows. So one other thing it did was created all these amazing caves. Lots of caves here. Over 700 caves here. Before you can go caving here at Lava Beds, you absolutely have to have a permit. And so you get that permit at the visitor center, it's free. And what it does, it educates you about um, uh, white nose syndrome that kills bats. And so they're trying to spread, uh, you know, uh, halt the spread of it. But sadly, just this summer, they discovered it in Washington. Yeah, it's already moved to the west coast. It's really sad. All right, we're in a cave though. This is a lava tube cave. I love the drips of rock here. When you look at the walls, you see the drippings from lava. All right, let's go. All right, so, oh my gosh, let's see. Do we go left here at the junction or right? I guess we'll go right here. We'll go down here. All right, I can't actually see where I'm going when I light myself up, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fun. That's a pretty easy cave. Just uh, one tiny part where you have to duck. Yeah, really have to watch where you walk because there's a lot of, like the rocks are just so, you know, uneven, but yeah, we're in a cave, woohoo. 
I'm at another cave right here. And uh, yeah, so these caves are, whoa. <laughs> so these lava tubes will form when uh, lava, which is very molten and moving pretty quickly, will flow across the surface. And then it will actually uh, harden and get a crust on the top. And then you'll get these rivers of lava that keep flowing, this molten lava that will continue to flow through the cave and then, when the eruption is over, all that molten lava just empties out of the cave and it leaves this tunnel behind. And sometimes, if there's multiple eruptions, you'll get these caves stacked on top of each other. And um, so this one here, this one has several different sections we're going to go into where it goes up and down. So. Gotta walk carefully. Don't wanna fall here. So Oh my, this is a huge cave. up or down I think I think we should go down down is the way to go all right that was a tight fit and now this way it gets very low very quickly Oh my gosh, coming up out of this cave, there was this most beautiful sight, this blue sky with these beautiful, perfect white puffy clouds. Oh. Yeah, coming out of this cave was amazing. That's a sight worth going into the cave for. Wow. All right, let's go back in. There's one right next to us. Uh, so we just came out of this one and we're gonna go back down into this one here. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so this is Mammoth Crater. This is where 70% of the lava flows in Lava Beds National Monument came from. <laughs> this is like, it's a huge, huge vent. And it, uh, it erupted between 30 and 40,000 years ago, multiple times. And so a lot of the lava caves here came from lava that flowed from right here. It's, yeah, I don't even know if you can really get a scale for this. It's a huge, huge vent. I'm hiking around Mammoth Crater and, wow, this is like, it's really huge. 
And this area is so beautiful. It's in the low 50s, but if you keep moving, it's really warm. And just looking around at the landscape, I mean, it's amazing. Like you see lots of other like cinder cone vents, cinder cone volcanoes. There's just telltale signs all, the, all around. There's a really perfect cone right over there. Oh wow, it's, it's a beautiful landscape here. There is not another person around for miles. <laughs> I have this whole place to myself. There's only right now two other campers, or three, three other campers at the campground. So this really is a great time to come here and just have the place to yourself. Wow. <laughs> Some parts of the trail are a little tricky. They're just, you know, rocks stacked up. And uh, yeah, like some of them are a little tippy. Oh my gosh, so this is a huge cave. I don't know if you can really get the scale here. And yeah, this is huge. And there's actually this part, I'm looking down right beneath me here. And there's another part just down below there that I can see that goes basically right underneath me. Right here next to the cave entrance is this fumarole. It's, you know, where lava would have been bubbling up out of a hole. And there's actually this huge hole. I'm sure it goes all the way down into the cave itself. So, all right, so I'm at the entrance to the cave. <laughs> so that there is where we're going. So clearly there is a lot of rock scrambling involved in visiting these caves. So yeah, be prepared, good shoes, and uh, yeah, tread very carefully here. So down back there is the entrance. You can't see it from here, but it's all the way down and, and back up. And down inside there is a pool of water that is extremely important for our animals around here because there is no surface water in lava beds at all. So uh, the only water that can be found would be in pools like this. And of course it freezes in the winter uh, it actually gets noticeably colder when you're just down 20 feet lower. And up here, you know, it's a little bit warmer, but yeah, so that's the hole over there. When I was standing up top, right there, the hole I saw from the top is right there. And uh, 
obviously I'm right below where I was standing. So there's another cave that goes back in there and so I thought I'm gonna go back down and look in that cave some more. <laughs> These are the Fleener chimneys. And there's actually like three or four of these very deep hole in the ground um, where lava kind of sputtered and bubbled up out and created these huge like circles around them. And uh, over the last hundred or more years, people have come by and thrown rocks down into the bottom of them. And, filled most of them up. One of them they kind of emptied out, but yeah, don't throw rocks in the holes. <laughs> These Fleener chimneys are actually just one part of a huge fissure that runs all through here and uh, has vented lava for the last, well, probably around 500,000 years. This particular vent here actually created a huge lava flow that goes north from here uh, about three and a half miles. So this was quite an active place like, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 years ago. I actually came up here to watch the sunset. And of course, nature very rarely disappoints. Oh, it's just, this is a very beautiful landscape here. <laughs>